what enabled a small island such as England to colonize India's vast subcontinent. By the 1850s, Indian thinkers came to an astonishing conclusion. One of the West's secret was sex. Efficient harnessing of sexual energy to build stable families. Let me illustrate. Many years ago, I was teaching in Jamaica. I learned that 85% of children there were born to women who never married their fathers. America's sexual revolution was just getting off the ground. How could Jamaica be so far ahead of America's cultural elite? Jamaica's sexual revolution was a policy promoted by the British. In 1807, William Wilberforce succeeded in abolishing the slave trade. This created a problem for British plantation owners in the Caribbean. Their business needed slave. Plantation owners decided to produce slaves on the plantations. They discouraged male slaves from marrying. Like stud bulls, they should make women pregnant, but not take responsibility for any of them. An unwed mother will look after her own child for a few months, then she will need to go to work. Soon she will be pregnant again, unable to care for the first child. A child without a caring family will have no option but to grow up to be a slave. Fast forward to 2008, a handsome young man helped us move from Hollywood to Pasadena in California. After eight hours of hard work, drinking a cup of coffee in our new home, he began to tell us about himself. I hate American women. Why? Oh, I have loved many of them. I have kids from three of them. Each of them wants me to babysit three days a week. How can I babysit nine days in a week? They all want child support. Even if I babysit seven days and work seven nights, I cannot do what they are asking. I'm going crazy. I want to commit suicide, though it may be good to get an Indian girlfriend. He was a smart, lovable guy. Yet, I had to be honest. You have already condemned three women you loved, three of your own children, and yourself to poverty. Why couldn't you love just one woman, have three kids with her, the two of you take care of them, then in your old age they would look after you? The young man looked at me as though I was an alien. Are you promoting monogamous marriage? That is an outdated religious idea, invented because priests did not want people to have fun. All his life, my friend had been taught he was a monkey. Monkeys don't marry, they do monkey business. That is what the man and his girlfriends had been doing. Marriage is indeed God's idea. The German reformer Martin Luther articulated the Bible's unique vision of marriage in books such as Table Talks. A triune God created man in his image, male and female, to be one in an exclusive and lifelong relationship. The two of them become more of God's image when they have a child and become three. It is in taking care of that child that they begin to understand the father heart of God, the mother heart of God. The spread of the Bible made it the West's default definition of marriage. Indian reformers understood the secret of the West's success. Therefore, in 1955, they outlawed polygamy for Hindus. Sexual revolution dissipates sexual energy. It is the path to slavery. In contrast, Marriages harness sexual energy to build strong families and strong character. It builds great economies and powerful nations. It is the path to human dominion over the earth.